All set. Racing. Now Massimo began fairly. Proper Properantis drops out. Maginica also jumped away very well and he's going to burn them straight off. Going forward, War God. And now Massimo hits the bridle and charges his way up there after the break. Tracked across by Flo. Crystal Spirit pushing up on the inside. Posse to about fourth. Then two lengths. Jericho Missile back in the clear. Mankind is a fair way back in the early stages with Lord Healthy Run and whipping them all in his proper ranties. Seven lengths covers the field by the 700 along the side they stride Maginica the baldy faced galloper leads the way the favourite second Massimo Crystal Spirit third down on the inside running fourth a little wide flow on the outside of War God and then Jericho Missile about to be hoisted four and five deep being put into the race by the pot of Mankind had cut the corner Maginica races a length and a half in front of the 300 though Maginica the leader as Pike goes to work on Massimo Crystal Spirit down near the inside battling away then two or three lengths Jericho Missile he draws the whip now on Massimo. Maginica fighting tooth and nail. They went past the 100. It's Massimo getting the upper hand. Another one for Pike coming up. And Massimo goes on to win. Had to lift him home to beat Maginica. Crystal Spirit ran third, fourth. War God from Mankind. Jericho Missile weakening late. Then Lord Help Me Run. Second last home is Flo and the tail end of Proper Antes. Massimo the winner. Did I say Pike? I'm in CJP. Massimo. Glenn Johnston Porter has got home here in the Schweppes handicap. Apologies to Clint for one fleeting moment. Certainly had a little Pike look about him. But anyway, Massimo wins it. Thankfully, gets through. Massimo wins. Number eight, Massimo. Takes out the Schweppes handicap, beats Maginica. And uh, in third place in Crystal Spirit with War God fourth. We're even giving Pikey ones that he doesn't win on. Massimo, the winner of race number eight. The winner is by Sessions. And uh, out of uh, highest, part owned by the team at Oakland Park, Rene Durant, written by Clint Johnston Porter for Adam Durant over number nine in Maginica, Bo Banovic Edwards. And in third placing, number six, Crystal Spirit, Sean O'Donnell. Eight, nine, six, ten after the running of the eighth event of the day. One fourteen four nine thirty six sixty eight. the sectional and a half a length by one there after the eighth on the card. Mankind had got well back, finished on into about fifth placing. War Guides stuck on into fourth spot. So Massimo with his fifth win today from 14 and bounces back for the first time this preparation. The Furphy Handicap Race 9, four classic pro late, one with eight chest and flyer, ten Stevie's Wonder, a field of ten to run in the next of the day. As we head down, here's Brittany. And I've got Jordan from the stable, Adam Durant, back from holidays, but not here on track. And Jordan, what's the overwhelming uh, emotion here from the stable after the victory of Massimo, given that he has just finished second on so many occasions? Yeah, he's, uh, he's a highly talented galloper who's just been uh, unlucky to bump into one better than him on, on numerous occasions. So for him to get over the line first is a relief, I'd say, is the overwhelming emotion. He was only fair away, and we only have to go back two starts ago to see what happened when he got in the field. It wasn't pretty. Were you glad to see Clint just stride forward after that slow getaway? Yeah, definitely. Um, sometimes, if, you, if he did dwell, but if you fire him up too much, he can get running through the bridle, and then he's, the, the show's over. But um, Clint did well to get him back under control, settled him nicely, and he was able to finish off strongly. What stage were you confident? Is there always just a bit of an air of trepidation? No, I'm never confident until he's here standing here with Timmy, but um, no, it was, good. it was a good result. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Brittany. Jordan from the Adam Durant stable, Tim Paris giving Massimo a good pat, a kiss, because he deserves that. He uh, has been consistent, Scott. He's a horse that I think just needs to run. That's what we see from him. In, and as soon as Clint allowed him to stride outside the leader, that's when we see the best of him. We do. We'll uh, hopefully grab, grab Clint for a bit of a word after he weighs in here. Uh, for the win of Massimo, who really did deserve that. He's been knocking on the door. He went very close last week against Windstorm. And uh, I'll grab Clint now for a bit of a word. Clint, first and foremost, can you uh, talk us through what happened out of the gates? Looked to be a little bit slow today. Yeah, just before the gates opened, he turned his head to the right. Um, just made him come out a bit slow. But uh, he took... Uh, took... Case, uh, took uh, sorry. <sighs> 
he um, took um, hold of the reins and pulled his way through to the out, sit outside the leader, and it was pretty strong today. He deserved that because uh, he got run down by a pretty good one in Windstorm last week. Yeah, he did. Um, it was a bit unlucky not to win last start. Uh, Windstorm is a really good horse, and it was just stiff to run into it. Um, I tried to outsmart Pikey, but unfortunately, he just had the horse under him this time. Congratulations, Clint. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Glenn Johnson Porter piloting home Massimo to victory for Adam Durant. He deserved that win as well. Massimo taking out the Schweppes handicap. I'm an image of you being with someone else while it's eating me up inside. But we ran our course, we pretended we're okay. Now if we